it takes a long time, actually, to set up a canoe, to head into the water, to have fun, fun and enjoyment. 24th of July, 2022, at the Lock of Skeen, which looks like a lot like the Flogger at Everglades. I mean, the water hasn't actually come back. It was dredged, or the water level was lowered for maintenance. I mean, this is the impact of climate change. You can see people like canoeing. These people are specks on the horizon. You can't actually make out the people from far away but you can make out their activity. Heading for the lock with the canoes. They've got to walk further. So I mean, this really stresses young people staying fit and healthy because you've got to actually walk further to get to the water. Water? Is water key to life on Earth? Well, it is in a sense, because actually even all the fizzy drinks and all the alcoholic drinks, they're still made from water. water, getting to water. I mean, it might be fizzy, it might be alcoholic, but it's still made from water. Alcohol was actually also made from the hay bale harvest. From haze, from hay. Well, they're walking further to get to the water. Now they're in the water. No, they're at the edge of the water. It's difficult to tell actually what's land and what's water because some of this land, the green grass, has patches of water. So where's the show of the lock? Getting hard to determine. Yes, the hay bale harvest, it gets converted. It's the, the plastic sheath that, that goes around the hay bales. That's to trap air, to prevent mould, to prevent infection, to produce sugar to ferment into alcohol. That is the process behind making alcoholic beverages and also whiskey. Important to consider. Sometimes you may lose your train of thought forget that's possible but you know you might actually still recall facts that's also possible that's more natural this is more natural real world video shooting it's more authentic over time everyone's going to forget anyway I mean What's, what people remember is really linked to what they're doing in a given day. You can learn from data, knowledge. But you may not remember when in panic mode, under pressure, stressed out. And actually, people need to be more patient with those, for those with disabilities. You're, you can recall better when you're not stressed. This reinforces the view of really learn at own pace learning. Digest learning in own time. You can make great progress that way. That's really the fundamental way to learning. The web really enables, enables it, enables recording of learning materials. It's universal. Free materials, free universal learning for everyone. They're in the water. Canoes. It takes actually a long time to get in the water. And it's taking longer these days at the Lock of Skeen. In July, height of summer, mid-July, 24th of July, 2022. This is the Lock of Skeen, Sunday. 
Is it Whitson Sunday? Seven Sunday, seven, the seventh Sunday on from Easter. Well, it might not be. I mean, Easter would have been in April. The seventh Sunday is Whitson Sunday on from Easter, but that would be around, well, June really. I mean, this is July. What's the difference between short-term memory and long-term memory? And, well, short-term memory is more transient, gets lost easier. You need to keep talking to justify your actions. Video really enables sound. But you need shelter, shelter actually out and about to, to shelter from the wind, because wind can interfere with acoustics. But still, you can amplify sound. Sound signals, amplification. I mean, I guess modern smart, smartphones have this technology built in. Smart algorithms. Embedded technology in the palm of your hand. They're not really sailing these canoeists. Taking six minutes to get in the water. Video really shows time. The movement of time, the passage of time. Time slipping away. Older people may appreciate what they've lost. May get angry from missed opportunities. Not exploiting their opportunities. But I mean, actually, life's more enjoyable at a slow pace. All these cars whizzing around. Appreciation of life is better slow, slowed down, paused. But I mean, it's not, it doesn't really deliver the, the goods from the farm to the supermarket. People need to keep moving. But I mean, still, those with disabilities may be more challenged, in a sense. And there are people that are really confined to wheelchairs and can't get outside, so really, carers need to help them. Take them outside. Spend time with them. Families do this, I guess. But I mean, professionals, paid professionals, should be doing this. This should be the future of care. I should care at home, allowing people to die at home, peacefully in their sleep. Am I making sense? Oh, they're in the water now. You can't really make out the people. This is the lock of skin. The flooded patches of water through the grass. And the seagulls. Also, video is normally split into segments and that enables upload of our networks. Shorter videos, more efficient of our slower networks. But actually, segments of video, actually, it means people don't uh, see everything. There's a need to also explain. People can also be a great risk filming outside. But most people actually are friendly outside. I mean, they're, they're not so friendly and I imagine, imagine they're not, well, it's really nighttime in the dark, in the shadows, in the pubs and clubs, where people get date raped. Worth bearing in mind. But more and more pe young people are coming outside. Why is that? Is it all this shared photos and videos? It's inspiring people, teaching and educating. I mean, there is a role for education. Who's doing it, really? Who's doing it for no reward other than personal satisfaction, enjoyment of life? Oh, they're on the water. But you can't really... Well, you can zoom in further, but, I mean, the smartphones are really restrictive at the present day. It might be digital zoom, actually. I don't think it's optical zoom. On the iPhone, actually. You need to stay with... I mean, that's the problem with modern devices. But, I mean, cameras, they can zoom much further. A camcorder... About 30 times optical zoom. It's 
standard ones might compact ones might be ten times optical zoom. Optical zoom is better than digital zoom. Ten times optical zoom that's like hundred and twenty times digital zoom. But optical zoom is better quality. Enables real magnification. You can't really see this canoe, but you can see there's people in the water. I mean really you gotta walk further to get closer to the lock and I could go closer closer but I might spook the canoeists. I mean there's also an issue with respect. Respecting others, enabling them to enjoy themselves. That's also fulfillment of life. Oh ten minutes of video. Oh there's more people coming. Private stagecoach bus. This is Maryfield West Care Home. And a public bus just went past. Overtook it. 4th of August 2022. Look, Maryfield West Care Home. And a young child boarded that bus. He was waiting for it. A young child waited for that coach outside Maryfield West. It's up to the bus stop. And the public bus... Because there was a coach there, and a child boarding, the public bus just drove past it. This is public transport in Aberdeen. Sometimes you've got to be quick, actually, to start shooting video. You've got to be quick, because an event happens, like a bus appears. And the bus appearing might actually be significant. That's linked to timing, because buses are linked to bus timetables. Bus drivers can be under pressure. Another coach, not stopping at the care home, no one waiting. Maryfield West Care Home. By Spade Mill Road, no entry. You know, actually, it's quite a busy road, this. Queen's Road, and there's electric, 100% electric emission, zero emission buses. This is what's happening. City centre, Union Square, the number four. So where's it coming from? It's going to the city centre, it's the number four. The number six goes to West Hill, out Queen's Road, the number six. The number four? Where's it coming from? I mean, in a, in a data network packets, data packets have source and destination address. Buses just show the destination. Useful for passengers on the street waiting for a bus. But knowing the source, you've got to actually look at bus timetables. So first of all, you've got to cross the road. Cross the road, but you can't actually get across the road sometimes. I mean, it's quite busy today. Two minutes I've been here so far trying to cross Queen's Road. If you're an elderly couple, it takes 30 seconds to cross a road. That's from video from previously, watching an elderly couple. Ryan Horton, the councillor, he said it's seven seconds based on signal timings. That's the signal timing. Seven seconds in reality, 30 seconds it takes an elderly couple. Now I'm not elderly. You can get across the road quicker on a bike. And sometimes you need bikes, because actually, getting across the road amongst fast traffic is actually quite difficult. Staying fit and jogging. Oh, she crossed the road quicker than 30 seconds. Oh, that's a young woman. She's jogging. A video replaying it enables you to see how long people take to cross the road. I mean, hedgehogs take a lot longer, actually. And there's a bus coming. Crossing the road. Crossing Queen's Road in Aberdeen. Why did I start talking about timings to cross the road? Oh, Northfield, number 11. It accepts contactless payments. So from Queen's Road you can get to Northfield. Northfield is further up Anderson Drive. Off Provost Fraser Drive. It, 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 
And on that road, there's Northfield Academy. It's, it's at the edge, near Moyer Green. This is, in a sense, video connecting ordnance survey, online maps, real life. This is what's happening right now, 4th of August 2022. Crossing the road. Oh no, I'm still not across. Too much traffic. But I don't see much happening, look. Megafield West, Care Home. 31 Queen's Road. No, nothing's happening there. Not worth crossing the road. Well, actually, there's a, a bus stop. What are the bus times? To read the bus times, you've got to cross the road. The Fast and the Furious Cyclist. So, where's not jacket? Crossing the road. Oh, I've been waiting for five minutes. It gets tougher when you get older. Getting across the road. Getting across the road. Queen's Road, Aberdeen. With these large houses, businesses, homes, wealth. Fancy buildings with better architecture. No entry signs. Megafield West Care Home. There was a young kid started the video. But I didn't. The bus was blocking it. But there was a, a kid boarded a bus, a coach. And a public bus passed. Ah, traffic light. Pedestrian crossings. They make it easier to cross the road. But you don't always need to cross at the crossing because the traffic stops with the red light. Ruber's Law, Forest Avenue. No buses on Sunday. Well, the Monday to Friday. And Saturday. Quite frequent. Aberdeen to Queen's Road. Kingswells to Skeen Road. Kingswells Causeway. Where's that? Countyswells Deer Park Drive. Well, that must be... Well, that must be some of the new houses around Countess Wells. Near Kings Wells. Kings Wells Causeway and Countess Wells Deer Park Drive. Oh, July 2022. This is a new sign, but it's not an electronic one. So we're only replacing. Unlike West Hill and Aberdeenshire, they've got electronic bus display signs changing information. Aberdeen City hasn't got that yet. July 2022. July 2022. Still bus display times. Bus display times not electronic. <laughs> Women passing. They're talking about their thyroid. A thyroid gland. That's linked to hormones. Two women. Look. They were talking about thyroids. Linked to hormones. Hormone replacement therapy. Well, that happens when you get older. Hormones can also be linked to the menstrual cycle. I mean, some women do really want to have a baby. And I mean, there's RGU, the midwifery department. RGU is really big on babies. RGU, new life. Computing, engineering, business, also applied social sciences. Oh, terminates at Broadshades and Elric Service 6A. Terminates at Elric and Service 5. Terminates at Echt and Service 5A. That's the, the Service 6. Aberdeen to Kingswells, West to Echt. 
So this is buses. Or you can visit maryfieldwest.com Well you can see at this care home there's a big TV, a large screen one in the window. Actually no residents in the in the lounge area. You don't need to go closer to see, you can see through the window. It's not like Angusfield care home where the windows are actually all well, obscured, so you can't see in. This is Maryfield West Care Home. Doors bolted, residents inside. Chin wagging, sleeping, cups of tea, mild non-strenuous exercises. That's care in Aberdeen. You know, it's not a very, it doesn't look a very big care home. Maryfield West Care Home, Queen's Road. And there's a bus stop outside it. Travel to the city centre. Bothy 57 Cafe and Shop. It's open. Colourful planters. I have two issues. My hands are all black. It's to do with the handlebars. The brakes were tightened. They were fixed. One snap, the left one. What's this bike repair man done to the handlebars? The hands are all black. They need washed. But anyway, it won't do me any harm. The hands can stay black until I get home. Everyone needs a home to go to. Kirkton of Skeen, a defining landmark. There was a man on the cycle path heading for West Hill. An elderly man, white hair, with a mobile phone. Looking at it, I asked him what problems he had. But actually, then I asked him, could he see it? He said he hadn't got his glasses, but he was staring at a phone. So he couldn't actually read it. This is the, the barrier some old people face. Older people, pensioners, retirement. They can't see as well. This is the Kirkton Skeen. He likely belongs here. An elderly resident at the Kirkton Skeen. Some elderly residents can't actually see phones without glasses. And actually, what would be really good is glasses like smart specs made by spec savers with video capture. I mean, that really would, and would enable older people they have maybe desktop computers and magnified monitors to capture their grandkids. This is a phone box. Yes, the Kirkton of Skeen, a retirement village, it still has a phone box. A phone box for older people without mobile phones. That's telecommunications. Red phone boxes were all the rage in 20th century Britain. This is the Kirkton of Skeen, solar panels on the roof of houses. But there's lots of handrails round the houses. That's connected to fiddly to the blacksmiths. So the Kirkland Skeen really a retirement village. I mean look here, this is what graffiti 
on the phone booth. Please be prepared to use four coins to pay the initial minimum fee of 60 pence. There's a 60 pence fee and four coins. This is coins. The village store. Real espresso, coffee, tea, bacon, egg, sa sausage, butties, fresh sandwiches, local honey, arts and crafts. That's the Bothy 57 at the Kirkton of Skeen. A quiet, quaint village. Really an older community that uh, would benefit from visitors. And then there's the Pitcairn Lodge Sanctuary Care. I mean, older people in the care home might benefit from coming to the Bothy 57. Anyway, you see this? 0800 345-144. You call that free of charge. That's to find out how to pay for a call. You can zoom in here. How to contact BT. BT Payphones Direct for Inquiries. Oh, it's now... 118-141. It used to be 118-500. BT Directory Inquiries. Which number is it? No, it's 118-500. Has it now changed to 118-141? Scru Scrutinising the detail. These numbers can change. We welcome your comments about our payphone. Please call 100 and request the BT Payphone's customer services team. Payphones. So the number for BT used to be 118500, but that was the new number. So is it now 118141? Which number's right? You know, there's all these conflicting messages. And actually, you know, what's annoying is that people that make the news, like the BBC, these journalists, women in the newsroom in Aberdeen, by Rosemount, actually, near Beechgrove Terrace, they're not venturing out onto the street, really, to detect all these changes. That's a big issue. They don't really know what's going on. Visual verification. It can also improve mood. People getting outside. Taking, taking a stroll. Taking a stroll is actually about improving mood. Making people happier, euphoric. A lot of young people listen to music while walking. They like the, a beat, an upbeat music beat, 
to really put a spring in their step. This is the Kirkton Skeen, where older residents may tend planters, plantations, gardening, solar panels, a phone box. Whether or not the number for BT director inquiries is right, does the, or is the operator still 100? Look here. Actually, no customers in the Bothy 57. But there's banter happening in the back. Staff here, door open, welcoming. Come to the Kirkton of Skeen, where the plants are in bloom. The quaint retirement village, with also what used to be the Red Star Inn. There's a free car park. Ring cycle. Ringcycles.com. You know, it's now the fish and chip shop. Sit in restaurant, kind of, like a pub bar. You've got the tea outside. That's legacy from the Red Star Inn. These are the changes in the local village. That's the, you can get fish and chips here. Quality and no bones about it. Fish and chips next to the graveyard. <laughs>